to be using this uh, to push forward the arts, to push forward design, to push forward a utilitarian world where this helps. Okay? Uh, laptop for every child, a $100 laptop by Negroponte has been behind this for years. He wants yeah. to get them in every school. And Lauren's video showed it in the 21st century education where they have these miniature netbooks like in these very, very foreign places. And you yeah. communicate with these people. And obviously, I don't know if you're familiar with what just got passed. Uh, we had no child left to dine for eight years with Bush. We now okay. have a reach for the top, I believe, through Arnie Duncan and the Secretary of Education that is propelling a stimulus package for the arts for high school, for the okay. arts for middle and grade school. It was on uh, the Chronicle, I believe, the other day, where there's now a budget stimulus to reintroduce the arts into the schools and, and to fund them. Okay, so now you have this millennial group that live on this, yeah. live on this. I mean, my daughter, I chat with her friends all the time, okay? Uh, so now, can we take this step, can we take this leap of faith and bring the art this way? I mean, how, you know, you're a local celebrity, and I, I like to consider you one because you work very hard. Uh, if I get Thomas Friedman on this, if I get David Carson on this series, yeah. if I get certain people on this series, and they're willing to give one hour of their time a year. Sure. And that's a wonderful thing. Cost them sure. thing. They click on a button, and they talk. Yeah. You know, Take this sure. to all different people. You know, why can't we talk to Bill Joy? Why can't we talk to Richard Foreman, the uh, yeah. Nobel winning economist? Why can't we use this technology to have open discussion with people that we would never have a chance to see or meet? Well, I think that's the, the beauty of it. I mean, that's that's what this is opening doors to, um, especially with the social media networks. You know, um, there are a lot of people out there that are even even that have reached celebrity status that are reaching out to just, you know, the everyday common person and they're they're kind of just making it known that I'm on the same journey as you and um just like you and I'm willing to share my experience and I think that's a really cool thing. You know, it it, it should be that way. There shouldn't be so much of a, a segregation of not being able to reach the people that greatly influence us or influence our our markets or influence our field of study it's you know it's um it's that time now you know it, 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 it is pe people have to become aware of that it is well, well net neutrality one of the first things passed by the fcc's new new uh leader new new whatever new commissioner mm -hmm. of the fcc thank god we got rid of michael powell and yeah. we have a gentleman who his first move was to sign a net neutrality bill was to say to the isps you do not control what people say you do yeah. not control the amount of bandwidth that each person has. The government owns it. The people own that. So now artists like yourself yeah. can show their work, become who they are, and it's, to me it's a free open game. The best yep. person's work is approved. Now, P.T. Barnum once said, you'll never go broke underestimating the American people with yeah. an issue. So we need to push education, taste. I hate to use the word taste. That's terrible. We need to push education. We need to push a standard acceptance. David Hume, Immanuel Kant. We need to yep. educate. We need to read. We need to listen, talk, and discuss. One of my favorite sites is Big Think. Big Think yep. does this in a one-way dialogue, which I have issue with. Okay. Uh, yeah. Only because you don't really have dialogue with the person. Uh, yeah. In this environment right now, thank goodness we have dialogue. Yeah. Uh, which is great. And speaking of dialogue, it's Q and A time. Yeah, everybody. Anybody got a question? David, come on, you're a filmmaker, man. Does this get you excited? That you can do this? That you can hit the cord and it's here? Well, I mean I guess it's always a little hard to type. Is that the idea? Yeah. Just like now I can't be the guy that does that. Everybody can be the guy that does that? No, no, no. The best person can do it. The best person can do it. Okay? Yeah. And that's what the difference is. It frees, you know, who's that? In both? No, Whatever. <laughs> exactly. If you free your mind and go forward with it, then it's your content and your creativity that will spike you. Not your ability to pick the right lens. Yeah. Okay? You know, because the lens has gone away. 
instead. Okay? Although, you know, you have a Scorsese who slows down the frame rate to dramatize points. Right? You've got a Spike Lee who, if he dollied anymore, I, I would pass out just from watching it. That wonderful scene in Malcolm X where he walks towards the Audubon, the Audubon, I believe, ballroom. And he's almost, he's on a dolly and he's just rolling towards the face. And these are beautiful, epic scenes in movies. And uh, that's where craftsmanship comes in. But that's the, that's the, that's the vision of Spike Lee, it's the vision of Scorsese, it's the vision of Oliver Stone that does those things. So it's not necessarily the craft, okay? You know, I yeah. have 43 people carry me instead of a dollar, you know, me, instead of a dollar. So it's not that. It's your vision saying, I want a slow, continuous zoom and movement on this. So it's your vision and your concept that's going to make a difference. Technology, care. I don't care if you dip the monitor in, but let's <laughs> use it. Let's do something. Am I making any sense to you guys? <laughs> which is a Miller type of much cheaper than two dollars or two hundred dollars. Commercial art. I have to go off on that tangent for two seconds, Brian. I know yeah. you have a dinner engagement in a little bit too, right? Yeah, that's about. I, I still have another ten minutes or so. It's cool. Perfect. I really, really appreciate you doing this the first time, getting the king staff for us, and this is just so cool. Uh, My pleasure. Do you guys think it is? Yes or no? Is this, I mean, is this, it's a little ridiculous that he can put Washington in. But if, if he was in, if he was in, like, in the other room, wouldn't it be hysterical if he was, like, in 2010? And, like, you know, like, oh, crap. Uh, no, my point being is I, I, I'm excited about this because, you know, if I could speak to David Carson, he's in San Diego, and I don't have a budget to fly him out here yeah. and put him up in the lovely East Norwich Inn. Uh, I maybe can speak to David Parsons for right now. I can speak to John Maida if he's willing to listen to me. I mean, he's my friend. And he's the president of RISD. You know, my friend is his friend. And, you know, we went to art, we went to high school together. We were the two artists, so to speak. And uh, if I can get John Maida on this, to me, it's a big deal. You know, yeah. you know the, this this thing is exciting to me because it, it it freaking brings people together that no one can stop now. NBC can't say no. ABC can't say no. CBS right. can't say no. No one can say no anymore. Is it anarchy? God, I hope not. Okay? But, uh, you know, that's a problem. Uh, you know, I always believe that the teacher should be the smartest person in the class, regardless of who was chosen to teach that class. The teacher should be the smartest person in the class, be it a student or faculty, regardless. Should be the smartest person in the class. What's that? It's really a big challenge. It's a rise up. It's a gauntlet. It's like you know your stuff. I give you a perfect example. Yeah. Um, I told you about my son's school, right? That, yeah. Um, my son's school is very, uh, the principal very into technology. Well, you're lucky. And um, when we went to meet the teacher night, my wife and I, we were at the uh, we were at the classroom and the art teacher wants to have 